Let's compare two very popular red liquid lipsticks. And these are not just any ordinary red liquid lipsticks. These are both created by very popular female singers. And I'm gonna try them both on today and see, let's have a little battle between the two, see which one we like the best. If you've been watching my YouTube channel for a while, you know I love a good red lip. And I recently purchased both of these from Sephora's website because they've been getting great reviews. One's brand, brand new, and one's been around for a while and has gotten some really good ratings and reviews, so I thought it was time for me to pick it up. So I'm going to compare both of them today. This is Rihanna's, or Rihanna, I think her name is pronounced Rihanna. I tried to look that up yeah. before. It is, I think it's Rihanna, not Rihanna. I've always thought it was Rihanna, but I believe that it's Rihanna. And of course my computer goes dark when I wanted to talk about this, but yes, That's I nice looked. Me. I mean, if someone were asking me about the yeah. one who sings Umbrella, is that right? Yes. Um, okay. okay. I would yeah. say Rihanna. I know. <laughs> I'm going to go Rihanna. Y'all can leave in the comments below what the correct, correct pronunciation of her name is. But it's from her Fenty Beauty line. And this is the Stunna Lip Paint Long Wear Fluid Lip Color in shade Uncensored. And so we are going to test out this red against Gwen Stefani's brand new lipstick line and actually she has a couple other products now but literally her makeup line just launched on sephora i think like march 3rd um, or actually online or in store march 10th e either way it launched this month of 2022 and this color is the i'm still here lightweight long wear matte liquid lipstick but i purchased this one because i literally saw an instagram ad pop up about it and of course it had Gwen Stefani putting it on and she looked amazing as she always does wearing a red lip so I was like yes add to cart let's see what it's like so I actually got both of these in the mail at the same time we're gonna see how they stack up against one another so let's go ahead and try them on I have a question what's the name of Gwen Stefani's makeup line oh that would probably okay so maybe I didn't say this because I'm a little confused it's GXVE so it looks like give but it has an X where the I should be. So I'm not quite sure if it's like Give by Gwen Stefani or if it's Guvix or I don't know. GXVE. Again, if y'all know what it is, let me know in the comments below. But Gwen Stefani's line and Rihanna's line. All right, so let's go ahead and apply, let's go ahead and apply them and see how they stack up. I am going to do a Kleenex transfer test after each one to see how they transfer, if they transfer, how bad they transfer, um, because I feel like that that's a very important part of when you buy a long wear liquid lipstick. You wanna see if it's gonna transfer on your cup, on your fork, you know, all over the place. So we will do that after each one. So let's go ahead and apply the Fenty Beauty one first. Now, I'm not gonna do any lip liner, no lip glosses, nothing. I'm just gonna apply them straight from the tube. And then once I've applied them, I am gonna tell y'all a few stats about each one. So, this one by Rihanna, let's go ahead and put it on. And this might take a hot second because I have to be very careful when I do red lipstick because I want it to look perfect. We should really probably put some Jeopardy music to this, you know. Da, na, 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 That'd na, probably be copyright infringement. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's good. That's a weird applicator. All right. Very impressed that you noticed that. I make makeup videos. <laughs> I <laughs> notice things like that. See, I want to do a lip liner, but I don't want to because I don't want it to adjust the color or manipulate the color of these. That applied pretty well though. Really red. That's what you want. No, oh, I know. It's red lipstick, but it's really, really red. And it's a really short, stubby applicator. Yeah, I get really, really crazy about the outline. Okay, so funny that my husband, the video editor, should mention the stubby applicator tip because that was one thing I wanted to mention. Um, he mentioned something about the applicator. Now, I am not sure if this is what the actual applicator in the full size looks like. I purchased a little mini duo from Fenty. So this came in the Lip Fly Stunna Duo box um, package from Sephora. So I got a mini Lip Stunna paint plus one of her um, 
her liquid fly liner that I actually have on right now, her eyeliner. Um, it came in a little duo. So this is a mini version. So when you buy the actual full size version of a lip stunner, it's going to be bigger. So I'm assuming that the applicator will be bigger. I don't know, but this actually works really well to apply. Like I really liked how tiny it was because I could really get in there and shape it up nicely. So, um, keep that in mind when I'm talking about this, this is actually the mini version of the Fenty Beauty, but the full size version, let's do a couple stats real quick while you're looking at it on my lips. It is really, really pretty and really, really red. Um, so this is the uncensored color. It's described as the perfect universal red. So perfect universal red means it should work for everybody, no matter your skin tone, your undertones, that sort of thing. Um, it does look pretty true red to me. It doesn't seem to go too super blue or too super orange. So I'm thinking it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty universal. This retails, not this one, but the full size one, retails for $26 for 0.13 ounces. It's described as long wearing, of course. We're not gonna sit here for a couple hours and see how long it wears, but it's long wearing, it says online, and it has a soft matte finish. I would agree with that, definitely a soft matte finish. There's no shine on this whatsoever. And it is free of parabens and cruelty free and all those good things. So let's go ahead and do the transfer test and see how it transfers. It's obviously been on for a while on my lips. Um, it's on clean lips, no gloss, no nothing. There was no chapstick on my lips or anything. So I'm going to just take like a good old white plain Kleenex. And we're going to press it up my lips and see if any of it transfers. Okay, so not bad. That's about how much transferred on the Kleenex and I went real hard with that. Like I went, I went in to try to get after it. And then if I rub my finger, oh, now if I rub my fingers over it, it definitely comes off on my fingers. Which sometimes if you do that initially after a liquid lipstick, it will get kind of the top layer off and it will make it last longer. But I mean, that's a, that's a good bit to come off on my finger as opposed to the Kleenex. So take that for what it's worth, but it's, very soft it doesn't feel super dry i mean it feels really comfortable on my lips it's not anywhere on my teeth so i mean i think it's really really pretty i think it's a stunner on my lips so now we're going to take a minute we're going to take it off with some micellar water make sure my lips are dried down and then we're going to move on to gwen stefani's red liquid lipstick and see how it compares gwen stefani's like i said is a brand new um Makeup line, so hers, there's no way she's gonna have that many reviews because Rihanna's, uh, Rihanna's <laughs> Fenty line has been around for a, for a minute. So we'll just keep that in mind. All right, now that we've seen the Fenty Beauty Red, let's go in with the Gwen Stefani Red. And this packaging is really cute. The little clear outside and gold handle. Lips are nice and dried down. I still feel like I've got a little bit of the Fenty Beauty left around my mouth. Yes, pink. Scott's like saying, yeah. But we're just gonna go for it anyway. Okay, here we go. Okay, one thing right off the bat as I'm doing this is I'm noticing a scent with this one where I did not, there was no noticeable scent. This one definitely has a scent and I'm trying to place it. But, but you didn't realize how long it would take to put on a red lipstick, did you? That was taking longer than the Rihanna lipstick. Rihanna. I, I've never heard anybody say Rihanna, <laughs> ever. She's, it's not like she just showed up on the scene. She's been doing this for a while. Yeah, I think you'll be surprised. I think it's Rihanna. I think we've all been saying it wrong. Hmm. All right. So I've got this one on and I've already figured it out. I think that this smells very similar to the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Lip Inks that I buy. Well, they kind so of- So um, for someone that hasn't worn the Revlon lip inks, what flavor? It's, uh, it's kind of like a vanilla almost. So it's not I mean, bad. it's not, no, it's not bad. It just has a noticeable scent. Um, but yeah, it's noticeable. Okay, this immediately, I think it dries down quicker. This one definitely dried down quicker than the Fenty Beauty one. All right, so let's get into this one. The I'm Still Here Long Wear Clean Matte Liquid Lipstick by Gwen Stefani. It comes in at $24, so just a couple dollars cheaper than the Fenty. 
and you get 0.17 ounces. So you actually get a few more ounces for two bucks cheaper with this one. So keep that in mind. Um, and the ratings and reviews here on Sephora.com, this one gets a 4.7 stars out of five. However, there's only 80 reviews on this one as opposed to, what was it, 5,000 I said for this one. So, you know, let's go on with my opinions on this one now that it's on. So this one is also described, this color is the original recipe and it's called a true red. So they're both claiming to be like this universal true red, meaning pretty much everybody should be able to wear this, wear these shades of red. I would say that this one tends to lean a bit more like a bit warmer, just a tear, just a little bit more orangey. This one was felt a little more blue red. Scott's shaking his head, yes. Um, this the, just the Rihanna. Oh, I, I meant to say Rihanna. Rihanna. The Rihanna one is more like candy apple red. Mm -hmm. This one felt the Fenty one's a little bit deeper red, and then this one's a little bit more brighter with a bit hint more orange. This feels like a tomato red to me. It feels tomatoey. Um, it's also vegan, cruelty free. Comes in some recycling packaging, so you can recycle recycle the package that this comes in. Um, but I like it too. It feels very Gwen Stefani. This feels very like old Hollywood, like vintage red glam. And then this one feels like very sophisticated. Yeah, kind of a candy I've got a apple. Word. What? Vampy. Which one's vampy? That one. This one. The Brianna. But I like them both. Let's go ahead. I think I've spent long enough talking. Let's do a transfer test for the Gwen Stefani one and see how it. Transfer. I have a feeling it's not going to transfer a whole lot because it feels very dry. I didn't. I didn't do that as long. Hold on. Looks like you're being kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely less transfer than the Fenty Beauty, but let's do the finger test. And my fingers are all kinds of stained, so let's do the left finger. This one hasn't touched lips yet, and see how it. Oh. Uh, I mean, I was sitting there thinking it's not going to transfer, and it transferred on my finger as I did that. But this one feels a bit more matte. It feels like it probably won't transfer as much when I, like, go to drink something from a cup. But I like it. I think it's pretty. Okay, so I'm sure whenever I watch someone do a comparison video on products that are similar or have the same vibe and you want to know this or that, which one should we choose, I'm having a hard time with this because really there's not a huge price difference. Really two bucks. This one's cheaper than the Fenty. The Gwen's cheaper than the Fenty. Um, the color is a little bit different. Um, so if you prefer a more orangey red, I'd say Gwen, if you like a more like true candy apple red, go the Lip Stunna in, is it Uncensored? Is that what I said the color is? Yes. Um, but I like them both. I tend to like I guess I have neutral undertones, meaning I kind of go purple and green. I can kind of wear a little bit of both um, when it comes to red lipsticks, and I like both. It depends on my mood. I'm also wearing an orange shirt today, which could throw something, you know, some things off when you're putting on a red lip. Um, but I like them both. If you don't like scents, you need to go Fenty Beauty because this absolutely has a scent. It is a pleasant scent, but it's kind of vanilla-y um, and it is pretty obvious, I would say. So if you don't like scented products, you're going to want to go this. Um, Package-wise, I like them both. I'd say I prefer the Fenty one with its cute little stubby applicator. It was very easy to apply. It did not take me very long at all to apply this. Um, so that was super cute. However, I love the packaging on this, but if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I don't really get into packaging. I'd rather have the product just perform for itself and packaging is cute and all, but as long as it applies well and it stays well and it looks good, packaging's kind of like, eh, well, whatever. So I guess take that for what it's, let me, let me ask you, which one did you like better? The Rihanna one, the Fenty. Okay. Definitely. So that was 100%. a very, yeah, that was a very quick, he made the decision. So the hubby likes the Fenty Beauty one on me. I like them both. I think they're really pretty. I think they're very fun. I love that they're matte. Whenever I wear red lipstick, it's gonna be matte. So I love that both of these are matte. But your new Georgia game day color. Right so here. I guess, um, go dogs, we're probably gonna be going Rihanna's Fenty Beauty. 
red lipstick. But that is it for today's Battle of the Red Liquid Lipsticks. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope maybe if you've been looking at both of these, wondering what they look like on um, a this or that comparison video, hopefully this helped you make a decision if you want to go purchase one for yourself. Um, it's always nice to see it on someone else and how it plays out. I will leave links in the description box below this video if you want to go check out both of these products. And I will definitely be, buy, I bought a lot from Fenty Beauty before. I really do love the line. This is the only thing I bought from Gwen's line, but it, like I said, it's brand spanking new. So I'm sure I will go try something else from her again, just cause I love Gwen Stefani in general. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.